Welcome to Smart Grant Server. As householders, we are faced with steep increase in electricity prices. It's not only affecting us in this small island of Jamaica, but also the global market. The cost our providers pay for fuel has increased tremendously, and electricity providers pass this cost on to us, the consumers. Why are fuel prices increased though? Fuel prices are increasing and it's still happening as we speak. There are numerous factors which have affected supply and demand of fuel and as a result, this increases the prices. For one, the war between Russia and Ukraine is a contributor to high fuel costs. If you are not aware, Russia is an exporter of crude oil, making them the world's largest gas exporter. Because there is a restriction on oil and gas imports from Russia, it places a strain on the places that we can get fuel from. This makes the supply of fuel low. The demand for this fuel exists and with a low supply, it means the demand will be high. When demand is high and supply is low, then prices tends to rise. The demand for fuel to produce electricity will especially be high at certain times of the year and it's dependent on your location. So like for instance, in the summer, when temperatures are swelting, then there is a great demand as we need electricity just to keep cool. So too in the winter, some countries will need increased electricity in order to keep warm or just to even live. Recently, in our very own country, Jamaica, the power provider reminded us that the majority of our electricity charges were accounted for by the fuel used to generate what we use. Believe me, the fuel prices are greater than what we consume for electricity charges. There is no way possible that consumers can budget a set amount for, from their salaries for electricity bills. As the power providers informed us, the fuel cost will change monthly depending on the cost of the fuel purchased from suppliers. We are directly paying for this fuel cost. There's no subsidized cost given to the consumers. Some of you viewers and subscribers live in countries which will experience a very cold winter. One even that is filled with snow. With winter comes increased usage. Here in this tropical island, we also will experience increased electricity usage, even though we don't have snow. I will go through with you why at this time the electricity bills will increase, irrespective of where you live. Here are a few reasons. One, you are spending more time at home. For persons who experience snow, they tend to use electric heaters and these are high consumers of electricity. The usage of the heaters are done just to keep warm and feel comfortable at home. For persons living in the tropical island, we experience nightfall early. So if you are indoors, it means more lights are being turned on. We have to entertain ourselves as the nights are no longer and bedtime doesn't change with the time changing to longer nights. You see where the increased consumption comes in? So we will be paying higher electricity bills at this time. Two, participating in the festive activities. During the winter months, some persons feel that they have to be a part of the festive activities so they decorate if it's even a small tree they add lights which requires to be plugged in all over the world persons feel that they, they are to be active during the season 
Some persons go all out, getting lights for indoors and outdoors. You see the increased consumption here? The third one is longer holidays for this year. This year, the holidays are longer for some of us. So when we leave work on a Friday, we will not be back in the office until the next week, Wednesday. Having more time on our hands means more electricity consumption. The usage of the televisions, laptops, tablets, and any device or appliances people see fit to use. We can't get out of this season high electricity bills, but we can reduce it from being too excessive. Be mindful not to incorporate waste in your electricity bills. So turn off and plug out when not in use. Try doing things together as a family to eliminate the multiple devices and appliances that are being used at once. Use lights which are solar so you don't have to turn on the lights too early as well. Those are some of the tips to reduce usage and to reduce our bills for the season. You don't have to sacrifice comfort to keep your electricity bills in check, you know. It's all about being aware of your energy usage and so you can make the lifestyle changes that it requires. Remember, conserve, but don't make it a burden. You have come to the end of another series. Join us next time for more ways to conserve.